Good morning. Welcome to today's devotional using the daily fountain of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Please invite your friends, your families, and your loved ones to join in the study of today. Let us pray. Our Father, we honor you, we magnify you, we lift up your name above every name. Today, as we go through your word, we ask, may you speak unto us. Do in our lives this morning what only you can do and take all the glory. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Today, by the grace of God, is Thursday, November 16, 2017. And the topic we have for today is maintain the balance. Maintain the balance. For our Bible passage, we shall read Ephesians chapter 5, verses 18 to 14. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 8 to 14. You yourselves used to be in the darkness, but since you have become the lost people, you are in the light. So you must live like people who belong to the light. For it is the light that brings a rich harvest of every kind of goodness, righteousness, and truth. Try to learn what pleases the Lord have nothing to do with the worthless things that people do, things that belong to the darkness. Instead, bring them out to the light. It is really too shameful even to talk about the things they do in secret. And when all things are brought out to the light, then their true nature is clearly revealed. For anything, does, anything that is clearly revealed becomes light. That is what it is said. Wake up, sleeper, and rise from death, and Christ will shine on you. Maintain the balance. There is the saying that salvation is personal but not private. Salvation is personal in that only the individual can take the decision to be born again. You don't get born again on behalf of your community. One person cannot stand and decide that he wants to give his life on behalf of his community. It is personal decision you make to be born again. However, salvation is not private because it is good news which you and I must share. Therefore, God desires this balance in every Christian. Once in Christ, we must do everything biblically possible to bring others to him. It is not enough for us to avoid the fruitless deeds of darkness, but we must expose them too. Some of us are nice Christians who avoid 
the fruitless deed of darkness like smoking drinking quarreling stealing or getting involved in immoralities they dress decently are friendly with people helpful to others in need but unfortunately for such nice Christians thus revealing an imbalance in their Christian life this imbalance result from the fact that they do not expose and challenge the fruitless deed of darkness nor preach the good news of salvation to unbelievers we must maintain a balance in our lives by vigorously doing both so that our lives will be effective in changing our environment so the challenge for you this morning is to go all out and preach the gospel of Christ to people that are in need of salvation and to also expose the kingdom of darkness whenever evil is being practiced it is our responsibility as children of God to expose it and not to cover it may God give you the grace to balance your Christianity in Jesus precious name join me in this prayer this morning dear father thank you for making your children the light of the world may I ever shine to expose every fruitless deed in and around in Jesus name amen please join us same time same station tomorrow for yet another edition if you are led to sponsor this program please contact the email and the numbers now showing on your screen may god bless you and make your day a fruitful one in jesus name amen